you allow same-sex marriage, if you allow homosexuality to become a norm, then society ceases to exist. It's just plain old common sense. So that's what I operate from, common sense. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Um, I believe that we noticed in the election that many um, black Americans who might normally believe in more conservative values um, followed in lockstep with the more liberal black elements and supported Barack Obama. Yeah. Is there any explanation that you, or insight they can provide as to why they might have done that? A lot of black Americans are in the Republican Party not because they believe in the principles of the party. They have been told that blacks should be a part of each party. And so they have come into the party with the intent to promote liberal Democrat ideas or so-called black values or black ideas. And so that's why when, they, when uh, Obama ran, they went with the man of color instead of the man that was on the right side. And I've said over the years that a lot of these blacks are hypocrites that are in the party. They don't believe in the platform. It's about just infiltrating the party, and that's what we saw. And this lie about, oh, I, I never thought I'd live to see a black president. And uh, my grandmama been waiting 100 years to see a black president. My grandmama stayed alive to see a black, all that stuff is just lies. It just, because if, if a black Republican had run, they, I mean, ran for president, they would not have voted for him. What about your mama staying alive to see that? But they voted for this guy because he was a liberal. And a lot of black conservatives, even um, um, Colin Powell, at first I had some, a little respect for him. You know, I knew he was a somewhat liberal because he supported abortion and all, you know, social things like that. But when he abandoned the Republican Party, then he is a coward in my sight. He used the Republican Party, he used Ronald Reagan in order to, for his own personal gain. He's been a racist from day one, and we saw him. Uh, we saw that come through when he abandoned the Republican Party for Barack Obama. And I said, shame on Colin Powell. He's, he's no one that I respect. Not at all. Yes, sir. Earlier, uh, when you were speaking, you said the NLACP, the National Association for the Economic Policy, is no better than the KKK organization that bombed black churches and killed people, right. and including the Angel Girl. Could you please explain that to the, um, the NLACP is a political pawn for the liberal elite white racist democratic party. They have used black Americans for their own personal gain, to gain power and wealth. They don't deal with the real issues in the black community. They don't deal with out of control crime. They don't deal with, uh, unless the only way they deal with the crime, uh, uh, with crime in the black community, they blame it on the white man. Oh, the jails are uh, you know, overrunning with black people because of racism. You know, so they keep black Americans angry. They don't deal with out of uh, wedlock birth. They don't deal with abortion. They don't deal with what's happening because they want black Americans down and out. And so what they've done and what they are doing is still in the, the heart and soul of black Americans. And, and so I often wonder what is more, most important, to lose your physical body or to lose your soul? I'd rather see Mer black Americans becoming Americans, becoming independent, working and taking care of themselves, getting married, and, and uh, uh, thinking for most black people, and, and I'm sure these young people can agree to this, most black people can't even think for themselves. They think in groups. If you notice, they follow the Democratic Party lock, stock, and barrel, 90%. You don't know any other group that are doing that because most black people think, for them, you know, they think alike, and the NWCP encourages that. And that's why I say that they're no different than the KKK. The KKK wear a white uniform, they were black, but they're both races. No difference. But the, the NLAP has never killed them. A lot of churches. Even if all of those things you say to do are true, and it's free, but even if it were true, wouldn't they still be better than an organization? No. Yeah. Bombing the church is bad, but keeping people down, killing their spirit, killing their soul, in order to use them for your own personal gain, and it's even worse. And especially with people that they trust the most. Black people trust the NWCP because they're black liberal Democrats. And the NWCP is taking advantage of them for their own personal gain. But to me, that's worse. At least you know where the KKK is coming from, but black people can't see where the NWCP is coming from because they're <laughs> angry. And when you're angry, your friends look like the enemy and the enemy look like your friend. So I think the NWCP is worse. We, we've had a boycott of the NWCP for the last 20 years. And as a result, they lost money, they lost chapters, and a lot of people are not supporting them anymore. 
because we are re revealing what they're all about. So, no, I think they're worse because they look like your friend. But a good question, though. Yes, sir? Uh, when you said that, uh, and I think Michelle Obama said it's bad to have an angry black woman in the White House. Yes. Uh, you, uh, what do you mean by that? Well, you know, for the last 50 years or so, the, the black family has been handed up by black women, for the most part, except to the room. And a lot of these black women are angry about that responsibility because it's hard to raise children on your own as a woman, right? And uh, um, a lot of these women, uh, because they, they, hate, they hate the fathers of these black children, they have turned the kids away from the fathers, they're impatient with their kids, um, um, and they have a mean spirit about them. And if you doubt me, go to the post office tomorrow <laughs> and ask a black woman more than one question, and you will see her anger come out. But, uh, uh, and so black women have been allowed to be angry. They've been told, okay, it's okay for you to be angry, you know, slavery, the black man is not there for you. And so that mentality is there now. And Michelle Obama displayed that during the uh, uh, primaries. And it was so bad that they had to take her off for a while to try to dress her up and make her look softer and, and, be, and not reveal that anger so much. Barack Obama even said that uh, Michelle is his backbone. He said that she is the foundation of his family and that she is his boss. And being a black man, I understand what he means. And uh, she is a, I even read reports recently that she's very dominating and controlling. And if you pay attention, even when they try to soften her down, you still see that angry um, mentality that she has. She is out of control. Would being an angry black woman be just as bad as being an angry black man? Do what it's just um, No, anger is wrong no matter who it's coming from. But the black woman has more control over the children because the men are weak and they've been cowered down and destroyed by their mothers and grandmothers. And they don't know how to handle that anger. So they get these women pregnant and they bail out on them because they can't handle that. So what we're telling the women is to forgive those men for being so weak so that they don't pass that on to their children, that same anger on to them. That makes sense? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So, by, um, so Michelle Obama, as an educated, strong woman, uh, she should then be uh, controlled by, by men and restrained uh, and put in her place. By, by men because she shares her opinion? Well, that's an insane question because that's not what I'm saying. What, and anger, anger is not a sign of strength. Anger is a sign of weakness. There's nothing strong about being angry because when you're angry, other people control you. They, they, they make you feel good. They make you feel bad. Whenever they want to control you, they say nice things about you. And because you have a big ego that comes with anger, they, make, they take control of you. Or they can say negative things about you and they control you. Michelle Obama is not a strong woman. She's a weak woman. It's just that because she's angry and because she's black and because she's liberal, she's allowed to get away with it. And no one is saying that you should control anyone, but you do have to recognize reality. And the reality is we have an angry black woman in the White House, unfortunately. Yes? Well, part of the issue with Michelle Obama is she actually has a children proud to be an American until her husband asked for the presidency. Like, she should be ashamed of herself, as should every American who was never proud to be an American until Barack Obama was president. Like, yeah. girls need to give up. Like, I can leave. I mean, I, I was always proud to be an American. Anybody that is American should be proud because so many people have sacrificed and given up their lives to come to this country. That's right. You should be a little more thankful for it. And I think the issue with Michelle Obama, like, she does sound angry when she says that. As an American, I find it offensive. It is. And that's why we shouldn't accept it. <laughs> and the sad thing about it, Americans, Americans knew this about her before they voted for this guy, yet they voted her in. Because, you know, white Americans did it because in their mind they think, well, you know what, we want to show black people that we are not against them. So what we're going to do, we're going to get him a far-left, liberal, socialist, black president who hates America, by the way, who hates white folks at least, and an angry black female who have made it clear that she thinks America is a downright mean country. And maybe black people would see that we are not against them. Not understanding that, the only thing that's going to change the hearts and minds of black people is that they're going to have to recognize that they're racist. Most, most black people are racist today toward white Americans. It's not white Americans against blacks. 
this blast again.